Remember when Americans started stocking up on duct tape and plastic sheeting after 9-11 and the anthrax scare? Well, now some people are snapping up protective gear with the arrival of Ebola in the United States. Now a northern Kentucky store that specializes in survival is seeing business pick up once again. Here at the Land, Air and Sea Military Surplus Store, business has been picking up ever since Ebola and ISIS began making headlines. MREs are very, very popular. Owner Scott Lane says survival supplies are now hot again. We do get a lot of people coming in asking about a lot of items, gas masks, preparedness, emergency food essentials, things like that. And there has been rises and falls, and there's been an uptick as of lately. Now, even though this gas mask is not specifically for Ebola protection, right now anything that can protect from biohazards is selling pretty quickly. These are the military ones that the U.S. military is currently using. Also in demand, these sealed, full-body chemical suits. A lot of people like these because it'll keep a lot of things off of you. As well as these backpacks filled with all sorts of first aid gear. These are actually large first aid kits. They have a lot of stuff. Bloomberg News reports a surge in sales of protective gear at Amazon.com. From DuPont's Tyvek bioprotection suits to nitrile gloves and respirators. Bloomberg says a company called Life Secure can barely keep up with demand for its infection protection kit. Customer Bobby Cox was looking over some of the protective gear. It's always good to be prepared. Though he says he hopes he doesn't have to stock up on it. Ebola's not really a thing I'm overly concerned about right now. Not yet. Not yet. But he says, check back in a few weeks. Epidemiologists tell the Huffington Post that there's no need to purchase protective gear. They say it would be impractical to wear a gas mask all day and say Ebola is not transmitted that way. Finally, it's